Are you guys ready to do some plowing? <laughs> the warden won't mind if I use her machine. It was a beautifully crisp and cold, but sunny winter day in the Wisconsin Northwoods. I woke up at daybreak to head over to the property to plow the farm lanes after we received several inches of snow overnight. The single digit temperatures had created a shiny diamond-like crust of ice on the surface of the snow, and you could see it sparkling all across the entire field. It's pretty icy, it's catching this blade, spinning this machine right around. You could hear the plow echoing through the distance as it broke up ice and pushed snow as it moved along the path. The beams of sunlight were bouncing off the trees, and the trees were surrounded by a golden, glowing hue. The air was completely still. Not the slightest breeze, absolutely tranquil, and perfectly quiet. The only noise around for miles was my four-wheeler tearing through the snow. Now these moments come so infrequently in life that I had to share it with you. Made it one way around. Now it's time to go back around and finish cleaning up. The plow had no difficulty moving massive amounts of snow to clear the farm lanes in a relatively short period of time. In fact, I was able to plow over two miles of farm lanes completely clear before even sitting down to a cup of coffee. Rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. I had learned to trust the machine after having moved an unprecedented amount of snow with it during a winter storm two weeks ago. Today, I wasn't worried about getting stuck. I knew I wouldn't be stranded and I was certain the winch cable would hold. For the first time, I really felt at one with the machine. And I was completely immersed in the task at hand. I was confident that my Can-Am Outlander 850, with its 60-inch Pro-Mount plow, was more than capable of tackling the task at hand. And I was having a great time doing it. Oftentimes the snow would break up and fly over the top of the plow, christening my brow and wetting my cheeks. But I didn't mind. I could feel the cold winter air rushing across my face when I picked up speed. I could feel each and every bump, hill, and drop in the terrain beneath the tires of the machine. I swear, I could almost smell the snow that morning. Or perhaps it was the smell of the cold wintry air. Either way, it was absolute liberty and a perfect escape from the responsibilities of the rest of the day. Well, thanks for coming to plow with me. 
subscribe if you want to see some more crazy Wisconsin plowing and winter chores and everything that it is to live up here on 40 acres in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. We'll see you later.